any overlander, no matter what your experience level, spends a lot of time in their rig. The difference between a catastrophe and an amazing experience sometimes comes down to how well you know your rig and what it's capable of doing. On our last trip, I took a few minutes and asked my best buddies the three things that they love and the three things that they hate about their rigs. We run a mix of Jeeps, Toyotas, and Land Rovers in our group, so here's what the guys had to say. Hey, Chris, Chris, so three things you love and three things you hate about your Jeep. Oh, boy, that's tough, because I love my Jeep so much. It's like a member of the family. What is, what is your rig, exactly? What, like, what kind of rig is it, and what have you done to it? So... Like, just the big stuff, not all the little stuff you've done to it. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a 2014 uh, JK Rubicon, and I have added a three and a half inch JKS J Spec suspension. Um, I'm running 37 inch BFG KO2s. I have ARB bumpers front and rear. I have a Badlands 12,000 pound winch. I got it re geared to 488s, and I really like that. It's been a really big help. Three things I don't like. Um, one is that it needs more power. The engine's good, the re-gearing helped a lot, but it would just be great if it had, I don't know, about 20 more horses or something. Um, the other is that the carrying capacity isn't great. Like, I'm sure, I haven't weighed it, but I'm sure that when we go out on these big expeditions with like our families, that I am like way over GVW. The last thing I don't really like about it is like the space. It doesn't have all the little cubbies and things like that, that a lot of other vehicles do, and a lot of the spaces that are there, uh, they never seem to fit what I need them to. So I know those are kind of like little nitpicky things, but day to day, it gets to be pretty annoying. Now, three things you love about it. Three things I love is that it's easy to work on. Like I am not somebody with like a lot of mechanical skill or, or formal training or anything like that. There's a ton of aftermarket support, like as far as you know, things that you can do to it. And the last one is that I just feel invincible when I drive it. Um, with those lockers and disconnecting sway bar and just the ground clearance, it just feels like it's unstoppable. So she's never let me down and um, I look forward to many more years of, you know, playing with my Jeep. I've got a 2019 Toyota Tundra, the 5.7 V8. I've done uh, an Icon Stage 9 suspension kit to this, it uh, gives me about three inches of lift so I can stuff my 35s. So yeah, so what are the three things that you love about it? Uh, so first thing would be the platform. So I love the space that it provides me. Um, I can do things around the house with it. I can pick up sheets of plywood. I can, you know, go carry an elk out and do anything I need to do hunting. I've got tons of capacity. Number two, I love the horsepower. Right now I'm finding that with just horsepower and driver experience, I can really kind of power through most of any of the obstacles that we've had. Uh, I love the upgrades I did to the rack and uh, creating my daughter's um, treehouse. So this is like home away from home. Okay, what do you hate? Well, for instance, today I felt like I was, uh, I kept us from going down a trail because I have a long wheelbase and horrible departure and approach angles. Uh, so from a technical standpoint, it does limit our capabilities out here by having a half ton truck. So yeah, so really, the only thing I really hate about it is its size, even though it's something I love about it. So I have a 2015 Rubicon JK. I haven't done much, I just actually put some newer tires on there. But with that though, I will say one of the things I love is pretty much out of the box, like mine, is, is pretty capable. I mean, I've been able to pretty much keep up with the, with the bigger boys. A second thing I like is um, that it actually looks good dirty. <laughs> so, like I can't keep my wife's Tahoe for like this for a week, but my Jeep would look okay. I love taking the top off and the doors off and the kids have like a hoot when that, when that happens. So. Yeah, okay, three things you hate. Okay, number one, by far, I'll show you right here is right here that is embarrassing especially like this this isn't the first year this rig came out so right. i mean i put some gloves in here and like two months later is like that and it's pretty much worthless now to the cost um is a little little bit you know for for what you get the fit and finish you know it's kind of not not so great um but it's fine and it's been pretty reliable but you know i had a radiator go out at thirty thousand. but another thing i don't like is while it does have a back seat, it's pretty good for kids. It's pretty uncomfortable more than like an hour, especially for, for, for like adults. The other thing that I don't 
like is the Jeep Wave. I know it's controversial. What? I know. Uh, you know what? Cut this out. Cut this. <laughs> this is. I, I'm gonna yeah. get canceled. So this is my 2005 Land Rover LR3, and performance-wise, I've just added a snorkel. Uh, because I tend to get myself into trouble and I've put bigger tires on it. Outside of that, there's no other performance upgrades. It's it's pretty much stock. What are three things that you love about it and three things you hate about it? What do I love about my Land Rover? Well, um, I love the V8. I have a good bit of power to haul all the gear and load it up. It's no sports car, but it's capable. Number two is the room. Uh, if you compare it to a, to a Jeep, this thing has a third row of seats. It has a lot more space in the back to, for gear. And then thirdly, um, the air suspension. And not just the air, but overall, it's fully independent and it rides fantastic on these, on these bumpy roads. Okay, so then what are three things you hate about it? Uh, only three, Tim. Only three. <clears throat> only three. Okay. Try to limit it to three. Um, so number one, the air suspension. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm afraid that one of these trips, uh, I'm gonna blow a line or something, or the compressor fails, or the airbag blows, and I'm stranded. You know, it's not as robust as like a live axle type of setup, and uh, it's always throwing up random codes about stuff. So uh, that that can get annoying. But I've just learned to, to live with it for the most part, and I know which ones are. Um, I need to pay attention to and which ones I don't. Okay, what's yeah. the third thing? You know, it's not it's not a regular car where you, you can just easily jack up a, a tire. You need to turn it off or else the air suspension is going to try to adjust as you're lifting it up. Mm. So um, learn, learn that the, the hard way. Well, if you had to do it over again, would you buy a different rig or would you buy this one? If I had the money, I'd probably get one of those new Ineos Grenadiers. Uh, those are such cool rigs. They, they're set up like the old Defenders and, um, and they look very capable. Cool, right on, thanks dude. So there you have it. Everybody's rig is different and no one's rig is perfect. It's all about how well you know it and how well you drive it. I'm Will from Venture to Rome. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.